Welcome to your market update and charts of the day. It's Wednesday, the 12th of June. Big day for markets today, like what's coming out later on. It's Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. We saw new highs on the S&P 500 and NASDAQ overnight, with tech leading a cautious session to the upside generally. The Dow did close actually slightly lower. Uh, today, that course, the Fed concludes its two-day rate decision meeting. And we've also got inflation data pending later as well. So really lots for the market to digest. US futures are near neutral, showing a bit of caution prior to that data. Asian equity markets mixed with the ASX down around about half a percent in early trading. European futures are pointing to a cautiously positive open at this stage. We saw the US dollar index once again close higher prior to that rate decision. Uh, it's slightly positive in Asia again. We see gold holding 2300 and copper holding support despite a softer day. So lots of asset classes pretty well in pause mode until we get that data out later. Likewise with oil. Bitcoin was softer overnight and pulled back from 70,000. It is potentially going to test support at 66,600. One worth keeping an eye on for a potential short opportunity perhaps. Uh, but of course today as we've already intimated, is critical for sentiment with CPI data not only out of China and Germany, but also the US and that interest rate decision and subsequent press conference by Jerome Powell later on during the night. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. We've got to find a, a good opportunity on the ASX today with the bid down half a percent, but Vulcan Energy Resources in the lithium space are holding on, performing far better than its peers. And you can see there we're still challenging this $5 level. We are slightly above neutral in today's session. But if we get a rally up towards the back end of the day and a move over this 5.2, then we can see this moving up quite quickly to around about 5.50, which will be a 9% gain on that level at 5.05. So that's certainly worth keeping on your radar. If it doesn't happen today, it could be there tomorrow to take advantage of should it do so. Quite difficult to find an obvious opportunity in the FX space, but the Canadian Swissy caught our eye on the one hourly chart. And you can see here we're moving back up towards this high close, which we hit on the 7th of June and 4th of June, respectively, at 65.30. Reasonable upside on this for a very low volatility pair. A potential move we would suggest up around about 35 pips. The test 65.67. Uh, so if we do breach this key level here at 65.30, it be a potential move for the upside to take advantage of. One worth keeping an eye on throughout the day. But of course, that data tonight is going to shift FX pairs significantly. So in terms of exit strategies, that might be worth bearing in mind. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.